On a serious note, I don't know if you're aware, but many adults haven't had the chance to learn to swim. It may be that they're lacking in confidence, that they're too embarrassed to try, could be anything. But this week, we threw our correspondent, Scott Reed into the deep end. Excuse the pun, that's a bit, bit of a better one. In there. Let's hope he's got his fins ready, or his floaties. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here with Mark Stewart, and today he's going to be showing me how to swim. So, Mark, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Scott. How you doing? Let's get into it. All right, so what we're going to do to start with today is we're going to start off with just some basic kicking. All right, so streamlined kick, hands out in front of you. When you kick, the most important thing is keep your body nice and horizontal on the water. So you relax your ankles, kick from your quads and your calves. All right, drop your feet down into the water. And when you breathe, head on the side and then drop it straight back down again, just to keep that horizontal position. Cool. Let's give it a go. All right. Very nice. Excellent. How are you feeling? Good. All right. That's actually quite hard to do. So we'll take this like nice and slow and just focus on that kick and even say it in your head. Kick, 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 kick. So if you're good with that, we'll head off when you're ready. So Mark, what's the importance of teaching adults these days how to swim? Oh look, the obvious benefits are just your health and fitness, so the sharks don't get <laughs> well, it's essential. Uh, we've got people from various countries who never learned to swim and there's been a high level of drowning. Well, especially living in Australia, we're surrounded by water, so... And it's a very simple skill to learn. Why do you think it is that uh, a lot of adults wait a very long time to learn how to swim? If not, a lot of them don't even choose to learn how to swim at all. Well, I think it, um, it comes back to when they were kids, they didn't have the opportunity to swim. I think it's a lot of the older generation. There are not too many adults out there who do get their 30 minutes of exercise a day. So jumping in the pool and doing an entire body workout such as swimming um, is fantastic. A lot of adults these days have families and kids and all those kids, especially now coming into summer, will want to be swimming at the pool or at the beach. But if one of the kids or someone you know um, gets in trouble or needs a hand just out in the water just as a buddy system, it's always great that you're then able to provide that support. So Mark, how many classes per week do you hold here for adults? Um, generally, the, the, the way it runs for adults, there's squad-based two sessions a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday night. In terms of one-on-one -on -one swimming, such as what we did today, they're booked to appointment. Generally, they're later on in the evening. We can do group classes with two or three swimmers in the water. It's always better to get people of the same ability swimming together. That way everyone's relaxed, everyone can swim to their own uh, capacity. And the one-on-one -on -one sessions, especially for adults who haven't really swum that much, is definitely the best way to get into it. It's just yourself and a teacher. Half an hour, generally you'll have a lane to yourself. So there's no rush to get in and be swimming 100 metres in two weeks. Take it as it comes. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. Scotty Reid, what a champion. In the deep end there. That didn't look deep. No, he's quite tall, Scott. He's very long legs. Yeah, Gorgeous. Very like a thoroughbred. deceptive. Mm. Like a thoroughbred.